What's going on guys? Nipsey's Hustle Marathon store is actually closed. They closed it, but I have good news. They have a new location. So in this video, we're gonna go check out the new location. I'm making this video just in case you guys are coming here and you want to support the family of Nipsey Hustle. They have moved and so we'll just go find out where the family is now. Hopefully we can uh, link up, but we are in uh, Crenshaw Boulevard right here. I think this is a boulevard and uh, yeah, man, this is a uh, this is this is the area right here. We're in LA, so uh, if you want to find out and you are excited to find out where the new location is, hit that like button and, and follow your boy, all right? Okay, let's do it. But so much history, right? It's just so real to just see it in real life, you know what I mean? Be here in this location, a lot of, a lot of struggling going on here, man. The community is uh, very diverse. So you look at this area, it don't look like much, but a lot of people, who have contributed a lot to the culture come from right here in places like this. So like, a lot of people think they got excuses or whatever. They just look back even in our generation. Yeah. Like, this dude's been doing it, no excuses. And then, that's a, that's interesting that you brought that up because Nissy was all about entrepreneur, accountability and entrepreneurship. He, right. he was a brother reinvesting into his community right. to help his community, right. like buying back the box. He literally bought this whole plaza back. I don't know if they still own it or maybe they're moving on or they're building better. But well, let's see if we can find out some more information. Um, we got some guys here, let me see. What's going on, Mike? Can I interview you? Let's have some questions about this place. Can buy a shirt? <laughs> How much is the shirt? 25 bucks. 25 bucks? I'll give you $20 just to talk. I won't buy the shirt. Okay, so what was go what's going on here? What? In ter um, terms of what, what happened, why did they close, or do you know why they closed, or? I'll tell you the whole story. Okay. All right, when Nipsey died, they sold everything, right? Yeah. And then they closed. Yeah. But it ain't no gate here at that moment. So, the crowd that you see from Nipsey's death, is laid out here, it never leaves. All right, one of the homies from the neighborhood sits right here. Yeah. And in the middle of the night while he's drinking, he gets stabbed and he dies. This is after Nipsey's passing? Probably a month after Nipsey died. So after the homie dies sitting right here, they come and put a gate around here. Damn, green gate. Okay. All right, so somebody hops this green gate and busts every window off. Damn. Oh, no. Damn. So then I double back and I put the wood up on each uh, thing. Then I switch the gate and add a barbed wire and make it hard so you can't just hop the gate. Then like four months ago, this dude was in front of the mural and he got shot in the process of taking a picture. And then after that, everything just got shut down basically. Cause, oh, and this was four months ago, Someone was just coming to pay respects by taking a picture and well, they had their chest poked out and they was having words with Okay, they were doing so, too much. Yeah, and then they thought they were just gonna come take a picture. Okay. And it just didn't work out like that. I got you, got you, got you. And so y'all y'all actually put this here just a reminder to let people know what's a man going on. Could have did this, a random person could have did this. I'm not sure who Do you have, still have people come out here to um, pay respect? Every day, all day. Okay. Wow, man. You Did you know him personally? I met Nipsey in 2003. Okay, so can you give us like a cool story or like a short story? One day, before... Hold on, let me let me just change my battery because of my... Okay, so you say you were, you you and uh, Cowboy were like... All right, we had a rap group. It was called Hood Unit. One day, I made a song with this dude that used to own the store before that store. Yeah. He used to sell clothes for $10 to shirts out that store. And I asked him to make a CD for me. And he made a CD. It was called Crenshaw Slauson. It had two songs on it. Yes, sir. All right, I went out here and I tried to like tell my homies, hey, check my CD out, you feel me? Yeah. And they bought the CD instead of just checking it out. They was like, here's $5. So then I came back to him and I was like, bro, I don't got no more CDs. They bought it. I wasn't wow. even trying to sell it. Wow, that's cool. And then cool. he started printing CDs out. So one day Nipsey was parked right here. Yeah. Blue Cutlass. Yeah. And I tried to sell him my CD. Like, hey, bro, check my CD out. And he like, what? It's a 
car and he just me and him clicked right there then one more night i was walking home this way and uh cowboy i didn't know cowboy dirt and i just was walking past him i was like get my cd and he was like hey homie i got a studio around the corner blah 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 just give me your cd and i'll check you out so i give him my cd meanwhile i'm supposed to do music with this dude right here but he like taking too long i only got two songs on my cd and i need more music and he like somewhere in between he ain't come up pushing my music so i call cowboy had just got met him and he sent a car to my house and take me to his studio and i'll at his when i get there i tell him like Hey, yo, homie, I'm the hardest rapper you've ever seen before. He like, get in the booth and prove it. So then I get in the booth, and then me and Cowboy click like that. So then Cowboy tell me I can take anybody to the studio that I wanted to take to the studio. And I came back up here, and I was like, you, 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 you. And Nipsey was one of them people. And then we went back to the studio. No! Yo, that's love. Okay, and so y'all get y'all get it y'all get it. All right, so we How old were y'all? I was 21 and Nipsey was 16. Okay, yo, that's love. So we get back to Cowboy Studio. All right, Cowboy was a cool homie though. Know? Like, all right, Cowboy. Well, make sure I had the freshest clothes though. Like, yeah. this dude put an Avrex jacket on me, and I was just out here fresh, like every single day. And he had shows that he'd go to, and he'd tell jokes. And then we, like, I'll be selling my mixtape, Nipsey would be selling CDs, and we, and we'll just all hustle right here, right? Then we would meet up at Cowboy House in the evening, and we would record music, and then we would go to Cowboy. Yeah. All right, so when we would go get up to the to the thing, what's up? What's going on, with y'all? All right. So when we would get up to the to the show, the cowboy would be having, we would get there. It'd be blood, and uh, it was in a blood neighborhood, and they didn't trip or nothing. And he told jokes and all battle rap against probably like five different people. And they had their own cliques and groups in the, in the crowd, right? So Nipsey, back in these days, he actually had stage fright, believe it or not. And he would sit in the audience. And when this click over here would yell out that click, and you would yell out your click, I'll be up there by myself. We just got here, we don't know what the yeah. And then Nipsey, he'll just start yelling out the crowd, who are you next? So I feel that energy, and I'm battle rapping four or five different dudes. And I'm like, hey Nipsey, come get on stage. And he got stage fright, he's like, no. Like, come get on stage, help me. No. And one day, it's just five people I'm by myself. Then he came on stage, and then we was fighting, like, like, battling, yeah. back to back. Yeah, back to back <laughs> yeah, yeah, with everybody. Yeah, yeah man, that's yeah, love, that's man. Love. Man, that's love, my brother, man. That's hey, you got your music on, like, yeah. where we could check out your music, man. You gotta check out. Just check out Little Felony, and then put Nipsey name next to it. Or Nipsey, Baby Set Trip, and Little Felony. Baby, that was our group. It was called Hood. That's how Hood Unit started. Other people made songs about Hood Unit, but it was really a group. It was my group, and then there was Nipsey and Baby Set Trip. They would come in, like, they bars or whatnot. And then Cowboy, he had the studio. And, like, he had cars, and he would give, let us drive his cars, and, he was a big, a real big homie. Let me ask you, like you, you seeing, you seeing the growth between so much history that happened here, right? Almost the whole thing. You saw the whole thing, and now um, you saw him, him and his brother get the store. How, how do y'all feel about that, man? That, that had to be like, wow. See. You, you miss your moments, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it'll be a special, a, a moment in history, a moment in time you could be sitting in, yeah. and you don't know that you in a moment of history, you in a moment of time. And that's what it was like, it was, it was like history. It was like, like for one moment, Obama won the presidency, right? Yeah. So we was all on this corner just yelling, Obama, Obama! And then here came Nipsey on his dirt bike. What you doing out here, bro? Man, Obama won the presidency. And yeah, it was fun. He was my friend. 
And see, I said he was my friend because I met him before he was gangbanging, so I couldn't call him like that's the homie from the hood. So I'd be like, that's my friend. You know, gangbang. He's straight. Damn, you got, hey man. I can't give you no twenty dollars after that story, man. <laughs> That's not right there. Like, damn, that got me right there, man. Respect, my brother. Respect, respect man. I appreciate respect, you. I appreciate respect, you. So, respect. I heard they got a new store, or they moved. They did something new. I think it's on Fairfax and Melrose. It's somewhere on Melrose. I haven't been there. Um, yeah. Okay. It's a big shop. It like is that. like a okay, okay. But they they starting off new over there now. Okay, we gonna figure it out. We gonna go, we gonna go, we gonna go figure it out, man. But let me, I'm gonna take care of him. I'm not giving no 20. I just, I, I'm gonna take care of him and we gonna move forward. All right, yo. Yo, guys, so we just left uh, because <laughs> after I took care of uh, a felony, they they said there was bloods pulling up. I, I guess so. <laughs> uh, that's, how, that's how we do each other out here. And then so just in case they didn't want us to be a part of any um, hood politics. Um, so wow, that that story was amazing. Yeah, man. It yeah. Sounded uh, a lot of things. There you go, guys. Marathon. All right, I'm gonna put the address of this place, so just in case you try to come here and support, and I'm gonna see what's up, if they're gonna be doing a more of just a shirt store, or maybe it is what it is. Seems like it's more than just a shirt store, but we're here to support anyways. So let's go inside, we're gonna go inside real quick. Sit out. Okay, cool. So, and I know they're waiting for that, the, the Marathon clothing store. It's coming soon, man. You know what I'm saying? Just be on the lookout for it. I don't wanna get out too much. All right. This right here, what was the idea? A certain inertia. Inertia. Yeah, basically for the inertia is for like a certain state of mind when you're high, you know what I'm saying? So it only, it's only right that we do it with the dispensary. Okay. Makes sense. But it's still under marathon, so you know what I mean? It's a different way, different brand, but you know what I'm saying? Same, same family. That's what you got here. You got, no, you got, yeah, I got um, double X. Yeah, with a big boy, I'll get me one right quick, man. <laughs> we got the whole technology over here. <laughs> yeah, one of those uh, about two X. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So we, so if we, if we wanted to, we could come here and cop a shirt right here. In the meantime. Oh hell yeah. yeah okay. Boom. Okay, guys. So there you go, guys. They, the a new store coming, but on the meantime, if you are coming to LA, you want to get a, uh, you want to support the family, you can come here and pick up a nice shirt and pick up something else. <laughs> pick up a cookie or something, all right? <laughs> all right? So this is nice, this is nice, yeah. All right, you got a paper right here? Yeah, let's see, uh, right now for your shirt. Okay. Well, I'll meet you over here at the Right, so what I'm getting uh, just of this is um, actually a collective of different brands who uh, choose to sell their their items here. And here's one. We got a beautiful woman here and her brand. What is your brand? How's it going, guys? My name is Natalie. I am the brand ambassador for Elion. We're pretty much a sun-grown based brand company where we produce high-quality flour for such a low price. Pretty much when it comes to our flour base, it's pretty much we use hoop houses instead of greenhouses for our flour so that the terpene profiles are maintained and it stresses enough the flowers to make them be at the highest potency. It's pretty much good quality for such a good price and what my favorite quote about our brand is for Hebrew, Elion means the most high. Let me ask you a question. Uh, what's your thoughts about this, uh, this dispensary and its legacy with Nipsey? And everything? Yeah. Oh, I love the fact that 
they're paying an homage to such an amazing artist, you know? His music really did change the world. I, for me, in my opinion, I never really got to hear much of his music, but I did have a lot of friends that they really did like his sound and everything, and they felt like when it came to his music, it really did a good job on talking about such difficult topics that helped around when it came to the South, South Central and the lower class. And what's your thoughts about this place? When it comes to this dispensary, they have treated me nothing but kind words and everything. They're all around genuine people, super friendly and very welcoming. So this is a good uh, place uh, to, come to come hang to. out? Yes, of course. Everyone here is very friendly. They do a good job to caring to your needs or whatever products that you are trying to go for. All right, guys. So I went ahead and got me the shirt right here, just supporting the family. So if you want to do the same, make sure you come out here and put the address in the um, description. New store is coming, so wait on that. But in the meantime, you can come here, support them, pick up a shirt, and also pick up something else. <laughs> All right? We, I think I might have picked up something else here, too. So uh, check it out. I think they got some um, new, um, new strands here, too. I like the fact that something like this, but it's black owned, right? Nipsey Hustle, but even beyond that, it's black owned because I feel like the black community in general suffered a lot. It's still suffering for a lot of the penalties that were put upon us in the community for, you know, you have some weed on you, somebody gets caught with weed and you're locked up for 10 years plus, and now it's legal. Me personally, I have to, if I see a black owned one, I gotta support some kind of way. Come in, buy a shirt, buy something, because now we're taking something that was, we were held accountable, uh, wrongly accountable for like if it was like some type of demon drug and now it's legal we got to support our people on that first off i think this is special that we're here to support like my friend said a black owned business and not only that this someone that he, he this is something that he's been wanting to do for for years and he has done and even though he's not here with us here it still goes on which embodies the name of this business the marathon it's still it's still going on regardless of him not being here and i think just coming here and supporting the the energy is like just a, a so like this a point for us you know what i mean like we're we're just remembering that look hey man it's okay to support other black people black businesses you know what i mean and that should be celebrated and you coming out here is uh, also like a celebration of it <laughs> It's okay. You could be part of it too. Okay, we thank you for so, supporting black businesses. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? That's what it's all about. So at the end of the day, guys, just want to say thank you. I hope this video was enjoyable. Uh, I will be leaving the links to people that have been in this video. My boy Tay, and make sure you go check out Felon's uh, video. Go check him out. Support him. He out there trying to make it work. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man. I'm going to continue to give you some more videos here. I'm still in California. Maybe I, I go to Venice Beach. I don't know. Maybe I'll show you some streets around the neighborhood. We I, I was shooting another video of me showing you different parts of California. So make sure you tune in for that. Might be a link in the description already. Or Yeah, man. Support me. Check out my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love, 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 love. All right? The marathon keeps going, baby. And uh, I got a couple of treats in here I can't show you, but uh, it's a couple of treats. <laughs> it's a couple of treats. They, they show some love here. I ain't gonna lie. They show some love. All right, peace. Yo. <laughs> so, kept going. I'll run into Nip. I done got arrested with Nipsey. I done got arrested with Nipsey before. And, and that shopping center that you was at. Yeah. I done got arrested with him. Uh, matter of fact, it was funny because the police was like, hey, man, you supposed to be on tour? And he's like, man, I just got off tour.